One disease that is often thought of as a woman's cancer is breast cancer. However, the American Cancer Society estimates that about 2,350 new cases of invasive breast cancer will be diagnosed among men. About 440 men will die from breast cancer. Dr. Fred Wittenstein, radiologist at Florida Hospital Waterman's Digital Mammography Center, says men come in for mammograms more often than you'd think. We actually do quite a few mammograms on men. And it, it's a little different for men because the Women's Center here at Florida Hospital Waterman is obviously set up for only women. Generally, I'm the only man in the department. So when a man comes in for a mammogram, he's got to wait in a whole different waiting area than the women do just to keep everybody more comfortable. But men can get breast cancer, men can get swelling or abnormalities in their breast, and again, the majority of those are benign. But it's very unnerving and worrisome and it needs to be worked up. Most of these are what's called gynecomastia, which just means swelling of the breast. But men come in, they get a mammogram just like a woman, they get compressed in the mammogram machine just like a woman, and after their mammograms, we'll, we'll review the films and talk to them and let them know what we think. Male breast cancer is usually detected later than female breast cancer, and the main reason is just because men don't pay attention to it. They're not thinking about breast cancer. If they find something in their breast, they think it's because they injured themselves, they were working out too hard, or they banged into something, and they tend to put it off and ignore it. The incidence of male breast cancer is small but real, and what happens is when a, when a man does notice something in his breast, his physician will send him in to have a mammogram, and we do it exactly the same way as the woman. As you may have realized, men don't have baseline mammograms, and, but the good thing is that usually male problems are only on one side, so we use the other side as a comparison. The problem with male breast cancer is it's so rare that the statistics that we have for women aren't as well defined for men. And so a man who has breast cancer, no one's really sure if there's an increased risk for his daughter or his granddaughter to have increased chance of breast cancer and it's the same for, for the son of a man with breast cancer. They're generally considered independent risk factors and we don't think that it's, it's more likely they'll have cancer. Breast cancer is about 100 times less common among men than among women. For men, the lifetime risk of getting breast cancer is about one in 1,000. To schedule an appointment and for more information about Florida Hospital Waterman's Digital Mammography Services, follow the Male Breast Cancer Story Link on our homepage, yourhometownhealth.com.